I'm gonna start this off with a question. What's your biggest regret? It may take a moment for some, but for others, their biggest regret isn't something they must search for. Their regret is with them every waking hour. I'm one of those aforementioned others. Because I've been on here for so long, I'm a very cautious person, constantly looking behind my back for creatures that lurk in the dark corners of my mind. And these stories, specifically, don't really help with that. Now since I bet you're wondering what story I have for you all, I won't have you wait any longer. Now for some background, I currently work at a psychiatric facility, inhabited by people with mental disabilities and other mental ailments such as depression, OCD, and so on. My family tree has a history of mental disorders like the ones previously mentioned. I'm schizophrenic, except I'm well aware that I need my medication, and I've proven that I'm responsible and capable of living a normal life and having a normal job. Recently my meds seem to have weakened, and I worked a night shift, so the darker parts of the hospital have my imagination slash schizophrenia take over, except I keep seeing a specific person, or rather, a specific thing. I'm not too sure that it's human. You see, one night, I was walking into a patient's room to help them use the restroom, and I looked to my left. I saw this inhumanely skinny man with thin black hair that was scraggly. My co-workers and everyone else in my unit, they didn't see him. I was the only one. It looked like he hadn't bathed in ages. I could smell him from several feet away. He was completely naked except for a hospital gown on. He had a couple teeth, but the teeth he had were rotting. I froze in place, trying to see if maybe, just maybe, a patient had escaped from their room. I didn't recognize him. He stood there smiling, but it also looked like he was hiding the fact that he was in pain, like there was someone hurting him, but he smiled through it. He did his head and smiled even wider, then he disappeared. I heard a faint whisper when he'd vanished, but I couldn't make out what it was saying. I was standing there, like I just saw someone get killed, but then I heard the patient I was going to ask me to hurry up, and so I did. I tried to brush it off and continue my work. This went on for days. I, I would see him there, and sometimes I would be cut. And another night at work rolled around, and I continued my conventional routine. After what had been maybe an hour or so, I felt a sharp pain in my arm, like someone had just slashed me with a sharp object. I started to bleed. I looked over and saw him with a knife in his left hand, and I froze. Dude, what's wrong? My co-worker asked. Um, nothing. I just cut myself for something. Um, it hurts a bit. Alright, well, if you need to clean yourself up a bit, you know where the med kit is. I looked down at my cut, and then up at my co-worker. Her face was the face of the man who'd cut my arm. She started to laugh in my face. I ran away and locked myself in the bathroom. I took some toilet paper and water and attempted to clean the opening. The more I touched it, the more it bled. I decided to grab a paper towel and put pressure on it for the time being. I washed my face off with water and tried to refresh myself. But as I looked up in the mirror from trying my face off, he was right behind me. I ran out of the bathroom and everyone was the man from before. I didn't see anyone that I recognized. I was terrified. I ran into the lunchroom and grabbed a steak knife from someone's lunch. I turned around and saw the man again. I could feel his ill intent. I wasn't going to die. I ran at him and cut his eye. I grabbed his face and shrieked. I laughed. I stabbed him over and over. Blood painted the walls red, and I fell free of whatever this being was doing to hold me down. Once I felt like I'd killed him, I left the break room, and to my horror, there were more of him throughout the whole psychiatric unit. I stood there in disbelief and horror, and then one man screamed. They saw me covered in blood holding a steak knife. All the men around me slowly turn into faces I recognized, my co-workers, patients, managers, and my boss. I fell to my knees and stared at the ground, realizing what I had done. I was arrested and spent the night in a cold prison cell. My trial ended and I was found not guilty on the ground and said I am, in short, insane and not stable. Now I have scars on my arms where I supposedly cut myself. But it was him! 
Obviously, why would I, of all people, want to hurt my body? It's him! It's always been him! No one believes me! But listener, please, please believe me. Now I'll ask again, what is your biggest regret?